Are you visiting the Hilt Vendor on a daily basis in Diablo Immortal? If not, then you're doing it wrong, my friend. Whether you're free to play or pay to win, the Hilt Vendor is a great resource for min-maxing your power. My name is Leroy. This is Leroy Gaming. And in today's Diablo Immortal video, I'm gonna go over the Hilt Vendor and I'm gonna review with you the various items you can get from this vendor and tell you which ones are worth your time based on my opinion and which ones you should avoid like the plague. Now, if you find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments whether you agree with my analysis or if you think I'm crazy and completely wrong. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Hilt Vendor in Diablo Immortal. Okay, now for starters, to get to the Hilt Vendor, it's very straightforward. The Hilt Vendor is in the northeast corner of West March. And so it's up here. You can take the Immortal Overlook Waypoint to get there. And it's this little vendor here. And it looks just like this Lieutenant Fizria. Now I want to point out, as the name of the vendor implies, you're going to use Hilts to make purchases at the Hilt Vendor. And most of these you're going to get through either the Battle Pass, including after beating the Battle Pass, you're going to get these on a regular basis once you max it out. And also as the part of the Shadow Clan actions, the biggest one probably being the Raid the Vault feature. Your end result is that you're probably going to have a good amount of these hilts. Notice I've been spending these on a regular basis and I still have almost 28,000. So let's go ahead and go down the list and review the options. So your first option is to buy a legendary crest and you can only do this once a month and it costs 1600 hilts. This is something you want to get automatically every month. It's totally worth it. Don't think about it twice. Just purchase it right away. The second option is the mystery legendary item. Now I don't consider it as mandatory as a legendary crest, but if you're still looking to unlock certain enchants, this may be a way to be able to do it, especially if you have a lot of hilts. Also, I can't fully prove it, but I have found that when I find legendary items through this method and through the gambler, I don't know if it's a total coincidence, but they seem to be of a higher quality. So they're more likely to be an upgrade for me as opposed to finding them in the dungeons or outside in the random world where they more often than not are downgrades or very similar to my current gear. So I don't have the actual math to prove it. You may want to test it out yourself between this place and the gambler and see what kind of results you get. But again, this is not a bad investment if you have a lot, but because farming legendaries isn't the most important thing in the world as far as difficulty goes, you may want to save that 1600, especially if you're not farming up quite as many hilts. Now, right now you can also for 1600 buy a very specific gem this may change over time now if you're a free-to-play player you probably do want to do get this because this is the equivalent of basically an extra legendary crest for you uh, if you have a ton of these resources as well you may want to do it as well as an upgrade so it's not bad more often than not this one in particular you know maybe use it as part of your build it's pretty good actually you can't trade it but you can use it as a feeder as well Next, you have the rare crests. And this is an area where you may very well, as a free-to-play player, pick these up. Now, remember, these are when, I, when you use these on the Elder Rifts, you're going to get runes and also a 5% chance of getting one of these one-star gems, any one of them. So this is not a bad way of using these resources, especially if you're free-to-play you can get more chances of crafting one star or more legendary gems. So this is a very solid purchase. If you're spending a lot of money in game, this may fall off as far as perceived value, but for free to play players, I recommend this. Now, normal gems, you can get up to 10 a week. You can farm a good amount of gems for free in the world. 
Now, some people say there is basically a 12 hour kind of secret maximum that every 12 hours you can get about 20 uh, gems, normal gems on the world. And then afterwards, they're gonna just stop dropping until another 12 hours go by. I can 100% confirm this, but a lot of people are saying this. And I've also found periods where I do farm for a long time. All of a sudden, I stop getting gems. So if you are desperately trying to get a specific gem leveled up, this may be situationally well uh, useful. If you're taking your time as a free-to-play player and you're not in a rush, you could pass this. Now, the Reforged Stones are utilized in a more advanced crafting feature. I'm gonna be going over this in a future video, but basically your item slots will unlock the ability to get different attributes, basically kind of special effects. It may be, you know, lower damage taken, it may lower, you know, chance to get stunned, etc. increase your health regen, and you get one randomly on your slots as you level them up, and then you can get more as you level up more. But if you don't like those, you can reforge them. This is a reforge stone that will give you any one of the specific uh, options, attributes from any family, but you can also purchase very specific reforged stones at a vendor near the blacksmith. Again, we'll be talking about in a future video. I feel that if you're gonna reroll, you probably wanna do something very specific to your build. So I would probably go for those as opposed to this one that's completely random. And I probably would avoid this in most cases. Now, the aspirant keys are kind of interesting. You use them to open up chests in Ibn Fad's Sanctum. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna have a separate video that you can check out about that. It's basically a way of getting very unique gems to power up these kind of super gems that give you a variety of stats, like health, like attack power, uh, different resistances, armor, etc. So it is a long-term, potentially free-to-play progression. You can get these keys through running the Sanctum on a regular basis, on a daily basis. You also get them as part of paid battle passes. You're gonna see them in different uh, microtransaction packages. And this is the other way to get them. So if you're leaning heavily into this and you're trying to really push that part of your character progression, then this is not a bad investment. You can spend basically up to five of these per day. So you can spend up to 250 uh, hilts on it every single day. It's, it's your mileage on it will vary. Again, not a bad purchase though overall. And if you're kind of getting close to kind of unlocking a very special specific effect, or you want to follow my guide on the Ibn Fad's Sanctum, then this is one good way to stockpile these uh, as a free to play player. Then you have the simple charms and simple charms are actually annoyingly difficult to get. You're gonna get them randomly as drops, and I started more recently getting these as quickly as I can. They cost 100 each, you can have up to three per week, get them. I'm gonna have a separate video on how to get the most out of charms as a free-to-play player, and this is a cheap way to get random charms that if they roll correctly, it could be really, really helpful for you. And these you could potentially, if you build them out correctly, sell them on the auction house for lots and lots of platinum. So definitely something I recommend stockpiling. Now let's take a look at the limited time vendor. Now this refreshes as you can see uh, on a pretty regular basis. I believe it's either every eight or every 12 hours. Now I highly recommend make this check mark right here, notify me and you're gonna get a little mail and a little message whenever this refreshes. Now you can get a variety of things here very common to see normal gems, reforged stones, crests again. So if you're leaning into any of those, especially the crests, this is a place to get more that's gonna go above your weekly limit. But stay away from scrap materials. Stay away from enchanted dust. You're gonna be getting a ton of these and you can also transform scrap material into enchanted dust. If you wanna learn about that, check out my video about how you can upgrade your armor slots much, much faster. Now, there may be other things that pop up here randomly. I haven't seen any like legendary crested, et cetera, but you never know what you're gonna throw into this. So make sure that you at least, whenever you're online and that notification pops, jump on here, 
see what's there, see if it's something that you need and purchase as you see fit. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide to the health vendor. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. And of course, if you agree or disagree with my analysis, let me know below. Now with that being said, thank you for all the support guys and I'll see you in the next video.